For the new substance shader, we need a substance and an environment map. So let's import some. We choose Substance and find a substance file on our hard drive. Here we've got some. So let's select them and import them into Graphics Hub. Additionally, we will need an environment map for the shader to work. So let's choose Image and find an image that is suitable on our hard drive and import it into the Graphics Hub as well. We can see the new Substance tab that only shows substances. So let's get back to the server and create a scene. We add a new container and let's add a sphere to the container. Now, since we want this sphere to show substance, we will add the new Substance Shader plugin to the sphere. The Substance Shader takes several inputs. It takes a substance as well as an environment map. So let's provide it with those inputs. Let's navigate to the substances. Let's choose the gold substance. Additionally, we need to provide it with an environment map. So let's look for an environment map and drag and drop it to the shader. So now there are several settings. We already have a nice golden sphere here, but let's see what we can adjust. There's the Adjust Properties button, as well as several other properties that we can adjust in the shader. So let's adjust the Substance Properties. Click the button. And now we can see there's several things that we can adjust with this particular substance. So let's start off with adjusting the resolution of this substance. Let's go to 1024. And now we can see here we can add some scratches, which immediately get updated on our golden sphere. There's other things that we can adjust, like the amount of dirt on our golden sphere. Hmm, that's a little bit too much, so let's take it down a bit. Yep, that looks nice. And now let's change the roughness of the gold to be a very smooth golden sphere. Yep, that looks nice. Now let's close that dialog and take a closer look on our sphere. Yeah, looks pretty good already. The shader also takes into account the first two light sources in Viz. So when we move our light in Viz, we can also see the changes on the substance. Let's add a second light. And there it is. Let's also change the color to some blue and move it around a bit. Yeah, that looks nice. So this is the Substance Shader plugin in Viz Engine and Viz Artist. Mm -hmm.